Mommy, love Bye. you. Mommy, love you. They are saying goodbye because they are going to Auntie Ashley and Uncle Brad's house for a sleepover. It was supposed to be because I had treatment today, but that was canceled. So you guys are just going for some fun. And, oops, someone's calling you, honey. So instead they are going to Auntie Ashley's for fun and we are processing everything that happened yesterday. You guys had fun, right? Mm -hmm, At Disneyland? Yeah. A lot of fun? Yeah, yeah. And you guys understand that the medicine wasn't working last night for mommy? Mm -hmm. And hopefully my doctors have a plan to figure it out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They gave me extra hugs and cuddles to make mm -hmm. me feel better about it. Mm -hmm. Which is so greatly appreciated. And I'm not doing so hot today. I'm sitting in the same spot as last night because I am feeling the side effects of treatment already. And I'm just a little bit sad because my medicine didn't work last night. But then they cheered me up. You guys are the best. Thank you for cheering me up. Do you guys want to tell them anything about Disneyland? Yeah. What, what do you want to tell them? I want to tell them that we go on rides. You went on rides? What was your favorite ride yesterday? Mickey Minnie's Runaway. Oh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway? That was your favorite ride? Alice, Did you have a favorite you, ride? You're almost on um, yeah, the Millennium Falcon. Alice, you went on it? Yeah. Oh, the Millennium Falcon. And I got to be the right and left pilot. Oh, right and left pilot. How? You went on twice? Um... No, There's I'm only one choice. right and one left. Yeah. I oh, the right and left pilot. So one pilot steers left and right, one pilot steers up and down? Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. You were right. I was, I was the confused. up and down one does the light speed. Oh, very cool. Who was the up and down pilot? Um, a different guy. You didn't know that, him? Don't pick your nose. That was first time. And um, you liked being the left and right pilot? Yeah. That's fun. Winnie's not tall enough for that ride yet, but that's okay. She's she went on Mickey and Minnie. She's almost mm -hmm. she's like mm -hmm. a, a card. A card. Did you enjoy seeing your friends? Yeah, and and I yeah. shook um I shook Boba Fett's hand. He shook Boba Fett's hand. And who did you meet, Winnie? Ray. Ray from Star Wars. Winnie loves Ray. And now, Alice, you love Boba Fett, don't you? He's he was nice. Mhm. Mm very cool. And I met Darth Vader too. Oh, and Winnie met Darth Vader too. Was it when Alice was on one of the big kid rides? Yeah, that's when I was on the Lion Falcon. Oh, you went and met Darth Vader. With Daddy. Was he scary? Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah. Kind of. I think he's a little bit scary too. But he's also nice. Yeah. Anything else? Hmm. Can I get a, a kiss on each cheek for my babies at the same time? Mm, thank you guys. I love you. I hope you have fun at the sleepover. I knocked over my water bottle. Will you guys have fun? Yeah. Uh, yo. 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 The kids are with my sister. I just finished editing last night's video. I am experiencing neuropathy and body aches and just an overall unwell feeling from treatment yesterday. I know I didn't complete it, but it's still getting me. So now I'm gonna go get ready. Hopefully I can look cute because, did I say where we're going? We're going to Crossroads, which is that restaurant we went to in Las Vegas last summer but we are going to a new location that they have in California called, or it's in Calabasas. And so we're gonna go tonight and get a special dinner. Kyle's trying to cheer me up and be romantic. That's his bubbly water in the back, if you're wondering what that is. Um, but I have to go try to get cute. I can't do anything with my hair. When I have it down, I look like Pat, is it Pat? I look like Pat. Benatar? Benatar? Uh-huh. And it's not my look. So I've been doing these two pigtails every day. Maybe I'll put a fancy headband on to make it exciting. Otherwise, I don't want to look like Pat Benatar. It's just not my style. For anyone else who can rock it, good for you. 
not for me. Let's, let's see what I can do. Kyle corrected me. He said, we are not going to the Calabasas location. I guess there's an LA location, Los Angeles location. <laughs> Kyle caught a horse fly. I don't know if it's a horse fly. We call it a horse fly. It's like Huge. a ginormous fly that was flying around in the house. Kyle caught it and he's gonna release it. That's what we do with flies. We ran out of time for getting ready, so I am in the car and I'm gonna do my makeup. My love looks gorgeous, as always. I have, you know, treatment rash, keeping it cute. But I have a pretty dress, not loving my hair, but oh well, what do you do? And let's do my makeup. I have foundation on. Here is my cute bracelet stack. The pearl bracelet on the end is from my P.O. box from one of you. Thank you, I love it. And then the three bracelets that have letters are from my P.O. box. The top one says Ellis and Winnie, or Ellis Hart Winnie. Then Warrior and KJ, K Hart J. I love them. Thank you guys. You guys are the sweetest. My makeup is done. I'm ready to go. Don't love my hair, but that's the situation I'm in with what cancer treatment does to my hair. Um, I think I'm gonna get creative and come up with something new. Keep an eye out for that. <laughs> He's not listening to me. I have my cute puffy sleeves. This dress is Ivy City Co. Love it. I have it in a baby blue color as well. I wore it last summer in Oregon with my best friend and her kids. We all had matching dresses, so Melanie, myself, and then her daughters, Winnie. And it was a super cute idea, but all of us having the exact same dress, it almost made us look like sister wives. And we probably should have had you or Nick pose with us. That would have been funny. Um, we kind of looked like on? sister wives. So then when we took, we took professional photos this year for memories and we just did a cute color scheme. We didn't have everyone in matching dresses this time which I think was smart. Are we ready for our reservations? Yeah, do you wanna um, like show us together? Hi. <laughs> we got a good parking spot. Pretty if close. If you don't know Los Angeles, it's a little bit rough. This area is a little nicer, right? We yeah. drove through some rougher areas this trying is, to get uh, here. West Hollywood. We're in West Hollywood. It looks nice where we're at. And this restaurant is really nice. We gotta... We're gonna overeat. We I only had breakfast because I knew we were coming here, and I only we, had coffee. We like to try as much as we can, and I can't eat as much on treatment. Like I eat a normal amount, but I can't overeat. So I'm hoping I'll be able to keep up. You, what did you eat? I had some peanuts and a coffee. Peanuts and a coffee. <laughs> Health is wealth, folks. <laughs> but I think that'll help you out in eating. Yeah, I want. I plan to order uh, too much. Yes. And I was thinking, you're gonna get probably your mocktail. Whatever he, they have, but I want to get a mocktail. He liked in Las Vegas, their Las Vegas branch. They had a mint margarita, mint jalapeno margarita that he loved. And I was thinking, if you want, you can film yourself with it and then film a video of why you don't drink because people were asking on your one of your videos. Oh, that's a good idea. So you can get a shot with your virgin magrita. <laughs> and I drink water because I'm not into fancy drinks. And I get sparkling water here too, bubbly water. She doesn't like that. I, I just get regular water. Yeah. Yeah, you like, you like fancy drinks. He's a fancy man. I am. You excited? I am. Are you nervous? Yeah. You seem nervous. It's LA. I'm nervous too. Yeah, we don't belong in LA. <laughs> we we're don't. like, uh, we're, we're, we're small town folk. We felt this way in Vegas and they made us feel plain. Yeah, they were really nice. Yeah, so I think we'll be cool. You just gotta act like you're from here. Oh, hi. <laughs> I just walked over here from our house. <laughs> All right. Let's go in. Okay.
Okay, our battery is low. Hopefully it doesn't die. If it does, we loved our dinner. Delicious, the best dish of the night, correct me if I'm wrong, was the fettuccine truffle, truffle? Fettuccine. truffle fettuccine. So good, best plate of the night. I also really love the steak, eggplant, it's a steak made out of eggplant. Eggplant, steak, and mashed potatoes, love that. My favorite dish of the night was the uh, linguine, the mm. scallops. Mm -hmm. That one had more of a lemony flavor. Which is my He's jam. a big lemon guy. I am. Mine, I don't know, I guess it's a truffle flavor. Yeah. I know, I don't, I don't have experience with truffle. So good. This was obviously a big splurge. Yes. But after such a rough night last night, we said, let's splurge. And this is where we go to splurge. So he took me here, thank you, <laughs> my sweetheart. Yeah, this is where we go to splurge. It's really fancy and fun. Um, different, We, you know, it's not a part of our normal life, so it's really fun. Right. And it cheered us up. Last night I was in the cancer clinic having bad reactions and trouble breathing and to treatment. And tonight I'm here. What a beautiful blessing this is, that I'm here tonight enjoying our evening getting through the side effects and the side effects are better right now i'm having pain but but overall the side effects are better right now you don't feel too rough no we had to bring a bag of leftovers home because we ordered way too much food but again we like to i have my mask on my arm we like to try almost everything mm -hmm. so we packed stuff up and we'll eat it as a late night snack can't wait or as lunch tomorrow I think the kids would like my pasta a lot. I think so too. We could see if they want it. They love pasta. Yeah, it was so good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, you look beautiful. It was a fun little date. He gets so like different when he's at a place like this. He like has to play the role of a fancy rich guy. I do. And so when we were leaving, we walked past the waiter and he said, would you say? <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. No problem. Fancy. Look like I've been here before. So funny. It was so good. I loved it. Now we're going to go try to get you a surprise. Yeah, he wants to take me shopping because when we were in there, I said, honey, I don't have a ring still because mine, I don't want to resize it when I don't know what size I'm going to end up being. I have the weight gain from steroids and now it's losing, so I don't know what size I'm going to be. Yeah. And he said, let's go shopping and look for a ring. Let's oh, I see. said, I said, I look like your mistress. You have a wedding ring on and I have no ring on. Right. We need to fix I look that. like I'm a mistress. And so he said, let's we'll see. go shopping. We'll, see. we'll try. I saw at Macy's, they have a section of beautiful gemstone rings that are clearance. And so I think I could find a pretty, <laughs> pretty gemstone ring. And then there's another piece of jewelry to leave behind for the kids. And so it's slicing two apples with one knife. As we say in our house. <laughs> we were like, <clears throat> the saying killing two birds with one stone is kind of sad. Poor birds. My dad and Kyle and I were on this like, having this epiphany moment where we were like, yeah, all those sayings are really bad. Right. So Kyle and I, we try to come up with new versions of those sayings. Do we have any other ones? I can't remember. We have another one. But that's the main one we do all the time is slicing two apples with one knife. He came up with it. I think we could have done a little better, but he came up with it. It was quick, easy. So there was one where they say it. you're beating a dead horse. Yeah. And I came up with something for it. Yeah, you did. I remember. <laughs> Let us know if you guys have any good alternatives to those sayings because we'd love to use them in our home. We love, we love them. A, a kinder way of speaking. I feel like our language is very important. Yeah. Yeah. Great dinner, great date night, and... Leave it to Jen to get weird. A positive distraction. A nice positive distraction. I'm still sad. Yeah, me too. We still talked about it at dinner. Barely. It's really sad. Yeah, little barely. A little bit. We mainly just enjoyed each other's company. Mm -hmm. And the food. My sweetheart. I'm the luckiest lady. Oh, you stop it. You sparkle in your lips now. I'm the lucky man. <laughs> We are back from our date night, the most special date night ever. 
I have like a deep down sadness the whole night, but I'm feeling so happy and in love, so it makes up for the sadness. What about you? What do you feel? Uh, broken in the background, but great on the foreground. It's weird how you can feel both feelings at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's very weird. But I felt very happy to be out with you, and it was so nice. And with my pretty lady on the town. Okay, so my phone died. And after that, we realized we were driving in the Hollywood Hills. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. The map person. Do you do Siri or who's your map person? Waze. He does the Waze app. It was telling us to go this route through the fancy hills with all these gorgeous homes that are like movie producers and doctors, I imagine. Yeah, huge. But these beautiful, unique homes. So our path home was gorgeous, scenic. Um, I couldn't record it because my camera died, but then we were right by that Hollywood sign in the hills. I think I got a clip of it on my phone. I'll insert th that here. And it was just so pretty. And then we're, we get on the freeway finally. You look so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> we get on the freeway finally and Kyle goes, oh my gosh. And I thought something bad happened. And I said, what, what happened? And he said, your doctor is on a billboard. And I said, what? And he's like, I'm serious. It was your doctor on a billboard. So he exited the freeway, got on the other side of the freeway, then got back onto the freeway. And my doctor was on this big billboard. I will insert that picture here. He, and then what it said about him. Do you remember what it said? Something about not just having a doctor, but a doctor who creates medicine a, that everyone uses. A treatment that all patients can use. Yeah, that's my doctor. He's that incredible. Yeah. And I felt like that was a sign from God and on a sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I felt like what a good sign to have that on our way home from our special date night that we're doing to try to cheer ourselves up. I felt like we were being rewarded for choosing to go the positive route versus sinking in the darkness. I don't know, but with that beautiful sign, mm -hmm. you know, I loved it. So that's my doctor. If you guys ever want to see him, that's him. He's so wonderful. And then we went to Macy's. Now I'm not a fancy jewelry person. This night is so fancy. So they must think we're really fancy. We are not I fancy. promise we're not fancy, but for tonight we are. We go to Macy's because one day we were in Macy's looking for shoes and I saw that they had this really inexpensive jewelry section. So it's real jewelry, real gold, real diamonds, real gemstones, but it's 75% off. So maybe it's out of, out of style or I don't know. What do you think? How does it end up there? Probably like just outdated to where they've Like one of them was a, like a wedding ring, but it was a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like, maybe they're not the top picks, right. which Ellis would have probably loved if I bought that. But we start looking and I instantly, look how it goes dark and bright. Isn't that weird? I, what are you doing? I'm sitting up. I'm sinking in the couch to where I'm pretty soon going to be out of the shot. Why are you sinking? I don't know. Our couch is old, so he's sinking into the couch. i in here. Oh, flower, when she sniffs, she does these splats. It's the pug splat. Yeah, if you have a pug, you know what we're talking about. And I guess she wants to be up tall, too. Okay, so back to Macy's. We go to this clearance section. I'm a sucker for a sale. And we start trying on rings. The first two rings I try on were I was instantly like these are my top two favorite then the third one these are my top three favorite I instantly loved each ring and the price tags looked intimidating until she did the 75% off and then it was like oh we could do that that's easy that's under what we were planning to spend yeah so we try on all the rings I send pictures to Melanie and Ashley to get their opinion and the rings look different in pictures, so I don't think they picked my rings. <laughs> <laughs> but um, did you catch what I just said there? Rings. I bought two. One of them was so affordable. Both of them were so affordable, but one was like super cheap. 
and the cashier who r rang us up, she got us like some other deal. She was just wonderful, so we got out for a steal. Maybe it's because I told her my story. I, I wanted it to be a special experience, so I was very open when we were when she came over to help us, and she reminded me of his grandma Nini. She so did. it made me feel like I could talk to her. So I said, okay, here's, she said like, what, what are you looking for today? What are you here for? I said, well, I'm on this in-between awkward stage of a wedding ring. I had to get mine cut off because I'm going through cancer treatment and I had a big weight gain with steroids, so my ring doesn't fit me. So I need a, an in-between. I don't want to get it fixed and then Mm -hmm. I keep losing weight or I gain again. I just need an in-between ring, an in-between time ring. And so she was like, oh great, she was super nice. And then, okay, so I couldn't decide. And then I ended up getting two because they were so affordable. 75% off guys, and she got us a special deal at checkout. <laughs> However, that magic works. Flower, you cannot play with these. Which one should I show first? Don't say the details. Uh, Casico. Okay, so this ring, let me give you a little backstory before I show you. This one I picked because it's a classic in my opinion, and I feel like it's one that... You look so pretty. Every woman should have <laughs> in their jewelry box, thank you. Or like a hand-me-down. Like, I feel like it looks like grandma's ring mm -hmm. to where Winnie can give it to her daughter, or if Ellis has it, he can give it to his daughter. Yeah. I feel like it looks like grandma's ring. And the style, can you tuck my bang? It's driving me nuts, but I don't want to show them my ring yet. The style of it reminded me of my Annie Kimmy instantly. Like when I saw it, I thought, that's Annie Kimmy's taste. And she's my aunt, who's an angel. She passed away from cancer. And I feel like she's been with me a lot lately. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of wanted to get it just because it reminded me of her for some reason. I, she didn't have a ring that looked like this, so I don't know why I think it, it's like her style, but I feel like she would like it. And it just felt really special to me. And it was so affordable. This is my Auntie Kimmy ring. You were like drawn to it because so of So it's yellow gold, and then a real diamond. Gosh. Try far away over here, behind the camera. Oh yeah, there's some sparkle. Move it around, honey. And then touch the ring on the screen. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's, it's focused now. Move it around. We're no pros. Ooh, look at that sparkle. They're much prettier in person, the rings. They don't pick up that well on picture, on camera, um, in picture or video. But this one I liked because since it's so classic, I feel like I could wear it with anything. The other one, I don't think I could wear it with anything. You'll see. I have very veiny hands. <laughs> so did many give me. Um, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Here's the side view. There was another one that was really classic, but it had some small diamonds on the band, but the profile was not pretty. Look at this. This is like that classic profile that everyone draws as a little girl. Did you draw? I drew rings just like that. That everyone draws a little kid. Literally. And so I just love this one. I feel like my kids will feel special having this in their treasure box that I'm going to leave behind. I wonder if anyone's actually watching this. If you guys are sticking around to watch this, let me know. I'm interested. I appreciate it. <laughs> Would you sit and watch this? Of course. Okay. And my other ring, it was just so fun. It's which I'm realizing these were the first two rings I tried on, they weren't were. they? Uh -huh. And these are the first, these are the two I picked. I only got two because they were so, so, so affordable. And it was just... I felt like I needed to. Yeah, something that we <laughs> spur of the Stage moment. four, I told the lady who helped us, I said, with stage four, my bang, it's driving me nuts. With stage four, we're living life a little more freely and wild. And now that I have an income, it was it, we were able to do it. So this next ring is just so fun. One of my favorite colors. And any guesses of a color? And so I just felt like, I don't know. It was just so fun and pretty. Super pretty. I feel like I'll wear it a lot. And I think Winnie would 
would have picked this out of all the rings. Yeah. So, and I'm leaving it for her, so oh. I'll have stuff for Ellis too, don't worry guys, but um, I, th I thought she would love this. Okay, ready? Here it is without the flashlight. Wait, without oh. the flashlight. So I love the oval shape. I love the pink, it's a pink sapphire. And then the little tiny diamonds everywhere to give it a nice extra sparkle. I just love it. And these were my exact size. I don't know what size that is, mm -hmm. but whatever my current size is, they fit me perfectly. So I felt like that was also a good sign. Now let's see it with the phone flashlight. We see your shadow, you see that? <laughs> That's pretty. Even my main wedding ring, my real wedding ring, is not the most expensive or fancy. It's a, I picked a gemstone. I picked morganite as my main stone. I just love the color of it, but it saved us so much money because it was a gemstone. <laughs> and so this is actually my first real diamond ring. Yeah. Or no, I have that skinny band that has tiny diamonds, mm -hmm. but like, this is my first real diamond ring. And then pink sapphire. I love it. And then if I want to look like a an over-the-top fancy person, look at this. I got two, baby. I'm just living the good life. So sapphire in general is September. Mm -hmm. and it does, pink does pink sapphire is not... Nothing special. It's, it's not a month? No. Don't say it's nothing special. No, I mean like as far as the birthstone. <laughs> I'm June, so I get amethyst, and sometimes it says pearl. Kyle, is that right? Yeah. And then Kyle is January, which is... Garnet. Garnet. And Ellis is Garnet, and then Winnie is July, so she's Ruby. Do you think we're crazy for getting two? No. And which ring is your favorite? Please let me know in the comments, because I feel so special getting these. And I would love to hear your opinions. Oh, thank you so much, honey. I could cry. I love you. This journey is so hard. And I have to try to find joy in little things like this. Like, I've never been a materialistic person. But it just makes me feel so special. And it's a nice distraction. And I'm sure the sparkles in the sun will be fun. She was proud walking from the store. <laughs> she, With my jewelry bag. She was real happy. So that put a smile on my face. I'm just so sad and happy at the same time. No. I'm sad that we have to look for these little... Let's get closer to me. I'm sad that we have to look for these little... Flowers blocking me silver linings or things to distract ourselves but I miss normal life where happiness was all around always we weren't sad I miss that you know but it's okay we can handle it we're doing it I just feel so special you are <laughs> and the best part is I have jewelry to leave behind for my kids I don't have a lot of real jewelry because, I don't know, I'm, I was never raised around jewelry, jewelry very much, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and so I just feel so special and that I can leave these behind for my kids. I don't know how we'll do it if Ellis wants one for his wife, if he gets married or, and when he gets one, but I am so excited to have these. Makes me feel so special and loved. And I feel married again. I've been single now <laughs> without my ring. I feel so special with them. Why am I kind of liking them together? Like, obviously they don't go together. But I just feel like the the tiger in that Disney movie, what's it called? Not the Jungle Book, but it's like from back then. Oh, Robin Hood. Robin Hood, yeah, I feel like the tiger in Robin Hood with both. They're just so fun and cute. They just feel so special. And I know jewelry doesn't matter. It's just with this cancer stuff, we have to find things that cheer us up. Him, it's shoes now. It's shoes for me, man. And 
and Star Wars toys. <laughs> but it's um not only I mean and you didn't have a ring for the longest time. Yeah, and I didn't have a ring for a really long time. We've been time. saying this for how for how long? I love I it. do need to get my wedding ring fixed now and just tell them just to do whatever size because I'm not gonna be wearing it right now. I picture Winnie showing her girls one day and saying, or her kids, saying, this was grandma's. You know? Mm -hmm. And now on my to-do list is I want to go to a jewelry store and get Ellis a wedding band to leave behind for him from me in case I'm not here. Um, I only have girl things to leave behind. And maybe he'll be into flashy rings, who knows? But knowing my son, I doubt it. <laughs> so I want to get him a simple, plain wedding band that he can wear or not wear. Ellis, if you're watching this, you don't have to wear it. It's just, I want you to have a piece of jewelry for mom that you can wear if you want. And I just don't picture you being into these, Ellis. <laughs> no, at least not now. So I want to get him a men's ring to leave behind. So that's on our to-do list. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for tagging along on our romantic date night. We did not film our love story. Maybe we'll do it soon. Um, I think we'll do it soon. Yeah, we'll see. But thank you for tagging along on our romantic evening. This will hopefully show you that even in a really difficult time, you can still enjoy yourself. You can still find happiness. We went over the top tonight. Normally we don't, but it was fun going over the top and I think we deserved it. Last night I was in the hospital. Tonight I was in the jewelry store. Mm-hmm. We deserved it and it was fun. Yeah, and he got shoes. They yeah. were they were free, free because of the deal the lady set us up with. All we had to do was give her our email and she set us up with some deal. <laughs> I got free sandals and he got free Shoes. Shoes and socks. And socks. Free. Free. Man, I love a deal. And we still have free money free for Macy's. Money in there. Thank you, Macy's. Thank you, Macy's. Thank you, Chris. Chris was our cashier. <laughs> Chris, if you're watching this. She was great. Chris is not watching this. All right. <clears throat> okay. I'm blabbing way too much. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys are being so kind on my last video I uploaded. I appreciate you so much. You helped me so much on this journey. Sometimes when I'm sad, I just go read comments because you guys lift me up so much. So thank you truly. I truly appreciate you guys. I will see you guys soon. Bye. And I love you. Love you. Happy date day. Thank you. Happy date day to you too. <laughs> Bye. True love is real. <laughs> I can't <ask> crazy. <laughs> it is though. It is. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye flower bye flower say bye flower bye to my dog friends bye flower say bye <laughs> my dog friends uh, yeah, bye bye